our journey in the activity process starts with the explore phase. What does explore mean? What is fundamental to explore in this phase and why? Explore is a crucial phase for innovation because it allows to create a knowledge ground from which to define a meaningful and clear design goal. Explore is composed by two main steps. The first divergent step is clarify goal, followed by a convergent one that is define opportunities. The two steps are iterative and dependent on each other. This phase facilitates the analysis of the context, that is the specific field of application in which we are designing, the analysis of the people for which we are designing and the analysis of the market in which we, our new solution will be launched. These analyses are performed through both scientific and field research, allowing shaping a design perspective on a specific topic. When we have a problem or a challenge to solve, the first step we need to do is to deeply explore it, to clarify it and to facilitate our understanding of the goal to achieve. When the design objective is not fully understood, it is difficult to provide a suitable solution with relevant consequences on the whole process result. Therefore, in this lecture, we are going to explain the importance of clarify goal, that is the first step of explore. The aim of clarify goal is to analyze the different dimension of the issue to create a shared and deeply understood vision of what the real challenge is. Indeed, during this step, it is fundamental to collect desk and field information about the problem at hand, to talk with the people you are designing for being in empathy with them, and intuitively structure the amount of heterogeneous data to reveal patterns and gather insights. In this step, it is important to look at the world in a fresh way, using an open mind approach, be curious and notice things, trying to understand the current situation, opening yourself up to creative possibilities. Clarify goal represents the divergent phase of explore, where it is fundamental to adopt a diagnostic thinking style. This thinking style allows you to make a careful examination of a situation, describing the nature of a problem and making decisions about appropriate actions to be taken. To clarify a challenge with a diagnostic mindset, you have to follow some fundamental key points. Break down the problem. When you start to clarify a goal, the first crucial point is to better understand the problem and to define it. This can be done by researching what are the components of the problem. A good practice is to section the problem, breaking down into more accessible portions that may be grasped fully. You will find this extremely useful, especially when dealing with complex problems. Acquire knowledge. When starting a challenge, you need to gather desperate sets of information to become knowledgeable about the topic at hand. You can start by empathizing with people or by doing desk research and using your personal knowledge and initial hunches to start collecting potentially related information. It's also fundamental to explore information in different contexts and diverge to find analogies and other non-related information that could inspire you. Learn from people. During Clarify Goal, it's important to understand the physical and emotional needs, hopes, desires and aspirations for the future of the people you are designing for, within the context and the community of your design challenge. This key point is the essence of human-centered innovation. Our advice is to learn and practice some user research techniques to get inside people's heads and see things from their point of view. 
Map and visualize information. While you learn and collect a vast amount of information, it's important to group them to allow for comparison and analysis. Organizing and just opposing the disparate sets of data gathered in research will support you in revealing patterns and highlighting key factors. These were five fundamental key points of Clarify Goal. When we solve a challenge, we go through them and iterate as many times as we think necessary to gain and structure knowledge and be able to clearly focus the objective of the challenge. If we are still not able to bring the objective into focus, it means that probably the required knowledge has not been achieved. Therefore, we need to iterate and continuously search for the missing meaningful data. Are you ready to try? To help you go through this step and get great results, here are some expert tips that we have collected for you. 1. It's a real challenge trying to identify which among the available ideas holds true potential. Choose what surprises you and create meaningful innovations. What do you find most exciting and why? 2. Try to learn more about the information you deemed important during the research phase. Try to consider them from new perspectives. Specifically analyze the information which seems most interesting and surprising and which mostly contributed in clarifying the goal. Ask yourself, what have we learned that we hadn't talked of before? Why was this striking? Why is it more interesting than other options? 3. Take your time to clarify and precisely define the goal that will become the new point of reference for the entire process. Therefore, it is important to dedicate this step the required time. If you are working in group, use your time to interact with your mates and share a common vision on which to build. 4. It is necessary to spend the right amount of time on this phase, testing different techniques and ways of delving into the information considered interesting, until you get something truly convincing. 5. Do not focus on the detail too much. Remember that it is important to keep the scope of the project broad. Be concise, defining the opportunity through a sentence or slogan that focuses intuitions towards the goal. 6. During the process of defining the opportunity, it will be probably come natural to begin to suggest solutions and ideas. This should not be investigated further during this phase, but rather taken note of on paper or a post-it, to be used at a later generate stage. Within Clarify Goal, you can use a number of methods, tools and techniques to guide you through the key points of this phase and that mostly aim at understanding the context, getting to know the people, organize the information collected. At the activity, we have selected six methods to include in our toolkit. These are mind maps, goal orientation, interview, strategic disaster, boundary, and 5W and H. However, according to the challenge at end, we adopt and customize new methods starting from the vast amount of available resources and collection created by the worldwide community of design practitioners and researchers. To become familiar with this phase, as with all new things, there is a need to practice it. Therefore, this week is entirely dedicated to get your hands dirty and try to put in practice the fundamental key points of Clarify Goal. To help you learn and practice it, we have selected some of the tools that will guide you through this phase, enabling to empower divergence and your diagnostic thinking. Don't worry too much about making mistakes. You are here to learn. Put yourself out there and have fun. If you want to learn more about Explore, and clarify and compare it with other design thinking models, take a look at the resources we have selected for you. Mm.